Look how big he is! He's the size of my head! I laugh if she gets bit by a frog. <laughs> to Thailand from the south, heading towards Paddy and Riley to do some exploration. Early morning, we left our bungalow, crossed the jungle and got a nice little breakfast before jumping into a long tail boat, typical of Thailand. I've done a lot of different types of rock climbing from top rope to lead to bouldering. But deep water sewing? I had never heard of that and was really excited to test it out. It was pretty much rock climbing without a rope, without a harness, so we only had some shoes and some chalk and wet hands that kind of clogged up the chalk. But it was awesome! We had such a good time going up and down the rock walls and falling into water so you didn't really hurt yourself and the views were just stunning. We had taken a little boat that brought us to the rock wall where we could climb. There's something super special about climbing. The chalk on your hands, the sharp rocks digging into your fingertips, slowly inching your way up higher and higher. The higher you get, the more tired your arms feel and your legs start to shake too. You may even look down and wonder, maybe I can't make it any higher. But then you look up and you see, well, I can make it just a little bit further. So you keep going. The rope saves you from a fall normally. This was a whole different experience. Leaving your rope behind, your safety becomes the ocean. Each step is carefully calculated, slowly picking your way up. Reaching your personal top is exhilarating. Finishing with a splash, you jump to safety and the boat's below. Say hi. 
everything. It's like, ooh, cool tree. Oh, rocks. Climb this, climb that. There were so many different activities to do in Riley. We even made it to a sinkhole where the sound was incredible. So Corey had fun playing the didgeridoo and I looked at a few iguanas. Next stop in Thailand was Koh Phi Phi. We went and did some snorkeling with some sharks, which was quite exciting. And assisted to some fire shows because Koh Phi Phi is quite the party area. Uh, you go to get some joy. Huh? We have big food. In Copenhagen, we made some new friends, Felix and Michelle, two Germans, and explored the island with them. We went snorkeling and did some swimming and driving around Bottle Beach. <laughs> just came back from Ball Beach and the guys are actually driving up <laughs> holy shit avalanche <laughs> and we're <laughs> yeah it's pretty steep slippery so we're actually just walking up to the side We happened to be in Kopangan during the full moon party, so we decided to head over to the other side of the island and check this out, see what it was all about. It was a lot of music, a lot of drunk people, and it was quite the show, I have to say. So next time we'll be going back to Malaysia guys, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of our next episodes, and feel free to share it with anybody uh, that you think would enjoy this sort of stuff. So as you can see there's a lot of water. Uh, we just spent the night in the hide uh, over there, and uh, realized that we were getting flooded in. The bridge we crossed earlier was completely underwater. And as you can see, the water is up to my balls, basically. Um, lots of water, the water keeps coming in, so hopefully we'll make it back without having to cross any deeper. Really appreciate all the new subscribers. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, guys.